how to decrease electricity bill. For business without electricity, you can't work. You can survive. If you're a manufacturer, you have to agree that electricity is the main input for your production line. Without it, you cannot operate. But electricity is rather costly. And if you're struggling with your electrical bills, then in fact, here are three tips in order to reduce your electricity bills, lower your energy expense and save money. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to another video about EE. I'm Maxime Lama, Division Manager Efficiency Energy at Green Yellow Vietnam. As an expert in decentralized solar photovoltaic production, energy efficiency and energy service, me and the team here in Green Yellow understand that energy costs can be significant expenses for manufacturers of all shape and all size. And let me tell you that it's time for action if you want to scale back energy expense and gain more profitability. And below are the three top tips in order to reduce your electricity bills and decrease your electrical costs. First one, identify the energy leakage. First, it's critically important that you understand the energy consumption within your factory. You have to break it down and keep track of equipment because leakage are usually the major reason why your electricity bills just keep going up. And to be clear, energy leakage doesn't mean visible leakage as it's electricity. So in reality, you will often experience the leakage in three topics. The first one, lighting, that's visible. Second one, a chiller. You can hear it when, for example, when it's on and not supposed to. Third part, refrigeration. For example, a glass door where we can feel the cold temperature leaking out from the fridge. Replacement of equipment that consume too much. Equipment does not age with grace. The older they get, the more electricity they consume and the maintenance cost increase as well. So that's why you should change from an old equipment to a new one with, better, uh, with a better advanced technology in order to give you two things, a better efficiency and a better longevity. In addition, replacement of equipment also include the installation of energy efficiency lighting. You can either replace the lighting tube with new generation of LED or contact an energy efficiency partner like Green Yellow to study your lighting layout. We promise that we keep the same irradiation but totally change the type of light, removing the tubes, implementing LED panels or sometimes LED light bulbs. Number two, reducing human error on the manufacturing. With the technology advancing every day, the human error on the manufacturing became more and more visible every day. One common human mistake that I've seen in many companies is the maintenance team start all the equipment when they arrive at the factory and then they shut down all when they go out. It means that if the maintenance forget to shut down the equipment, they will continue to consume at night. The second common mistake is coming from the electrical board. Most of the time they are messy and it leads to run some equipment when they are not needed. And both mistakes cost you a ton amount of money. And what you will need is a good monitoring system that allow a factory to see this and to quantify the loss caused by energy consumed wrongly. A good BMS will control directly the equipment, avoiding the manual switch on off and then consume only when it's needed. After watching those free tips, I know what you think. Maxim, I don't have the time and I don't have the money. And I understand that and don't worry. That's why as co company like Green Yellow exists. We invest the brand new material and we help you to follow the, and to monitor the performance. But not only, we also implement a building management system, a BMS, and an energy monitoring system, EMS, in order to keep a track of the energy leakage that you could potentially have in your factory. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.